pleasure that I can be introducing myself to all the viewers or admirers of the Society of the Divine Word here in Tagbilaran or here in the province of Bohol. I am now just the oldest of the SVDs alive in the Diocese of Tagbilaran and Talibon. It has been a very interesting life that I lived in the last 50, almost 56 years in the priesthood in the Society of the Divine Mind. Some of our students might be interested about your vocation story. How did you know about the SVD? What brought you to the SVD for the My vocation story is a very, very interesting one because I joined the SVD after I finished my elementary training in grade 6 here at Holy Name University. In 1947, when we started this college, my parents were among the first teachers of Holy Name. When they opened the elementary department, my sister was among the first to transfer from Holy Spirit School. And where the, their batch was the first grade six graduates of Holy Name Training Department. That was in 1950. 1950 and 51, I transferred for my grade six from the Holy Spirit School to Holy Name. And we were the second batch of elementary graduates of Holy Name University. It so happened that my parents both were working for the university but I never really thought of joining the SVD until my cousins from Clarin, five of them had joined here, had planned to join the SVD. Two were the brothers of Bishop Safra of Clarin. One was an adopted son of my cousin. Another cousin of mine who joined the SVD from Clarin. And my first cousin, who is the father of G. Kamatso Vagna. They all decided to join Christ the King. When I heard about it, I said, let me join you. Because they were all my cousins from there. I said, oh, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I got a lot of powers in the door. So all in all, that year, 1951, we were six cousins who went to Christ the King. That 1951 batch of six, a horrible name for it. Silam others, one was adopted by my cousin. He eventually became an SVD priest but got married, Father Minyosa. The others left the SVDs. They did not become priests. Now we let go. And I was the only one. They never thought I would ever become a priest because Gaya Gaya, I just joined them for all. Gaya Gaya. By 1954, I decided not to go back to Christ the King. Because all my cousins were gone. You know that something happened on the first Friday of June, 1954. One of my classmates from Lobo, with the name of Father Greg Dumpor, I had asked permission from the SVDs to be delayed in his return to Christ the King because he was sick. And since he was sick, he came to visit me regularly to Maraiba. Mama Lipa get a flower, Mama Lipa and talk. I said, no, I'm not going to move up there. 
this is my personal revelation to many of you guys. I said, June of 1954, being a family of dedicated to the second art, all of us go to mass in the morning. I didn't go with them to attend mass. I said, Sige lang yung misa dito sa seminaryo. So, nabuti lang misa-misa ako niya. Pero, when they came back from the cathedral, I sneaked out of the house to attend mass after them. Dito ko yung simba po ko. Pag-uli na na ko rin is balay. I called my parents, I said, I told them what had happened in the chapel or in the cathedral. That during the elevation, on the first Friday of June 1954, all I heard was a voice telling me, go back, go back to the seminary because I have something for you to do. Go back to the seminary. I just, I have something for you to do. So after the months I went home, ako yun nga nang mga pilihan ng mga balik ko seminaryo. Nanghila na po sila na yung balik na ikaw seminaryo. Make it short, Greg Dumpur and I went back together to the seminary in Christ King. His name was still in the board of the seminary, but my name was not the name of the block in the among the seminarians of Christ the King. So when we entered the parlor, Greg Dumper went right in. The superior told me, just stay there in the parlor. So the superior came down, Father Heinemann this time. Father Heinemann was my teacher in Latin Greek. Everywhere, second year and third year. He told me, says, Boy, you have an auntie in Manila. You stay with your auntie for three days. If you are still into the state of come and join us, write me a letter. Requesting that I will be reaccepted. Three days later, I came back. The little lad of us what? Sorry, I am an man. I am an old comrade. With that letter, he had marked all kinds of lines in that letter. When 1973, when I was 74, when I was provincial, Heinemann was one of the board, one of the provincial councillors. Since all of us have those years, from the time you enter to your ordination, to your present situation, you have a dossier in the SPD. And that dossier is only to be opened by the provincial. You cannot let any other see that. So one of, this, one of those days in the provincial, I look at my file, because I was interested in that file of the SVDs of the past, because I was cleaning it up, because I found out that some of those stories in the, in the files are not true. So I had to burn them up. So I looked at my file and I saw my letter of 1955 or 1954. I, I removed it, placed it in my notebook. When we have the next provincial chapter council meeting, we had to it up. I showed it to Father Heinemann. This was in 1974, around 75, I think. And Heinemann was in the Gita. I showed it to him. We had a big laugh, and he says, Look, Father, 
you see these lines at the bottom? The little ring. Yeah, boy, I knew you will become a priest. <laughs> so up to now, I returned that letter in my, in my dossier in the provision. That's still there. That I promise to do good and I want to be, I would like to become an SVD priest and all that. So I said to myself, that faithful day of first Friday, 1954, has brought me to where I am today. Make me persevere up to now. Because I really believe, we see a year behind me, are still plans for me. I don't know what it is, but he still has some plans for me. So that's my vocation story.